Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to use Indigo Studio to incorporate real-world context into your design through our storyboards. So I'm going to open one of the samples you already have. I'm going to open Find Flicks. Open Sample Project. And I'll create a new storyboard. What I really want to highlight is the interplay between the user story and the app story. That's where we put a lot of emphasis, and this is how you can take advantage of it. So we are on a sample where there is a mobile app. So we'll try to show the story behind this app right now in the storyboards. So what I'm going to do is, in the storyboard, you have this toolbox in here and the elements that you can drop on the boxes in here. I'm going to look for any scenes that go with the mobile app. You can also filter. For example, I'm going to click and select Cafe. You can drag and drop elements into these boxes. And with Tab, you can create the next one. And I can drop another one. So, something like this. And I'll make a card to look at the phone. I'll search for female. So now I'm going to show you a scene that's about looking at the phone. So you can show the story telling how she's eating in a restaurant. And she's thinking about... And then she starts playing with the app. So that's a pretty short story, but you can see the essence of the story behind the app. Another thing you can drop into these boxes is the app itself. So if you go into screens, you can see all the screens that you have in your prototype. And for example, if you want to drop the app itself, it will be shown in there as you can see. And also, you can click and drag this arrow back and create another box. Or, you can just drag the arrow back to the first box, like this. And that's more or less the whole story of the app. You can also create another line another box showing her navigating the app. I can also drop the screen and then drop the scene and it'll look pretty amazing. The app will appear inside the scene. So that's pretty much how to use storyboards. 